The new additions will include four workshops for electrical engineering, road construction and maintenance, building construction management as well as electronics. In addition, a block of three classrooms, water and drainage reticulation and a resource center will also be constructed. Once completed, the workshop will accommodate about 2,000 students. Speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony, Higher Education Training and Innovation Minister Dr. Ita Kanji Murangi says, technical, vocational education and training plays a major role in training artisans and technicians. Another thorn in our flesh is the lack of trainee job attachment opportunities, which make up to an integral, which make, which is an integral part of the TVET curriculum. And here, I would like to turn again and again to our industries. You see, unlike academic education or professional education, TVET education is only complete with the practical component. Without that practical component, you are half cooked as a technician, as a craftsman, as a, you know, you cannot, there is no way you complete Tibet education without some sort of attachment within industry. Another challenge facing vocational training is job attachments which are not available. Yes, the desire of the Namibian child to learn is clear for all to see. The bottom line is every child deserves an education that will prepare that child for the future. And I say that no matter their choices, we owe it to them to give them that chance. But we are not going to give them that chance through good intentions alone. Making that happen at scale for the many and not for the few will take real action. Chief Executive Officer of the Namibia Training Authority, Jerry Biekers, had this to say. I would therefore like to call upon our current partners and indeed our future partners in this venture including the architects, engineers, and contractor, to do everything in their power to ensure a successful construction project. And we will be monitoring, because our motto is, these contractors, once appointed and they start with the projects, must employ um, unemployed youth and uh, unskilled, lowly skilled, and even skilled workers from the local and surrounding communities.